Next question, what? Ask it again. Come on. Why are you excited to see your best friends close mafia this week? You know, the atmosphere is always great, you know? Like, we seen them, we felt them in preseason, and we definitely felt them and seen them in the red and blue game during camp. But when the season comes around, it's just a little different. So, mafia does what the mafia does, and uh, I can't wait to see them, as always. I've been here a nice a bit of time, and, er and every year it's special. First game, home game, that that like that we get. But can't wait to see y'all. How does what are your feelings like going into this year, and how are they maybe different than years past? Feelings are are always at the height. Um, it's more so like I'm blessed and honored to be here, and I'm blessed and honored to continue to get a chance to shoot for the ultimate like you know um, I'm just thankful that my team believes in me and I'm thankful that my coaches still see greatness in me because they could have got me out of here or I could have never signed back or you know like they they could have been saying all right Dion we've seen enough but I'm thankful that they still let me and be me and they still have their trust in in Dion Dawkins so um, my emotions are always high and I'm just thankful that I can go out there and, pr and protect for you know, set 17 and, and four, you know, like keep those guys good and help the running back get where he goes and keep that quarterback up, upright. Connor was talking about how years on the like to mix things up and mm -hmm. like to try and confuse coverages sure. um, and throw off the opposing side of the football. How do you feel like you guys, you guys are right now in a spot with your communication with each other? Connor also talked about how you guys have really committed to that this off season with yeah. guys jumping in each other's I think that the simple fact that we have the mindset of there's no secrets, like there's no secrets. Like I can't speak for other teams, but I can speak for what I think other teams might do. Like, you know, like football is like, it's not super complicated. It's as complicated as you make it. So if we're calling a call and we're going this way or we're going that way, or if we're talking about this guy or, or that guy, just, just talk about it. Like, I don't have no fear. Connor has no fear, Dave has no fear, Spence, and also Saibo. Like, there's no secrets. Say what you're saying, say what you're feeling, and let's get it in front of us so we could assort and block this the right way. Um, the Cardinals do a great job of having guys on the field with a lot of different numbers and that sort, like small guys that are really big guys and big guys that are really big guys. So it's a, it's a identification game where you have to make sure that we know where everyone is, where they're at, and who we're going to. And I think that as a unit, you know, like we're not an extremely young unit. Like we're, we're like an experienced unit. So with us being an experienced unit, it's, uh, it's helping with everything that's moving around in a calm, fashionable way. There's always a lot of excitement for the guys who have never played an NFL game before. A lot of people want to see what can they do, what's their skill set like. You know, we talk about Keon a lot. What about Ray? You know, Ray's getting ready to play in his first NFL game. What have you seen from him in the last couple of months? And how do you think his skill set can complement what you guys already have? Yeah, I see a, I see a go-getter, man. Like, uh, the simple fact that Ray went to Temple, you know, I went to Temple. Like, I have a lot of respect for the kid. Like, he's went to a couple of in different schools and shown and proved the type of player that he is on that level. And um, he's been doing it here in practice. You know, like, he's been... He's been performing at a high level. He's been performing, look at, uh, he's been performing at a high level uh, in practice. And uh, as an older guy looking at young guys, it's, it's, a, it's a good thing to see guys come in and just go after it. You know, like Ray just being Ray and, you know, him might coming in and saying, I don't know if I have a, a big chance, you know, and, and now he's, you know, like in, like in the mix, seriously in the mix. So uh, I am proud of him. I think that he's he's a good overall kid and he works hard. And he and he honestly like keeps his mouth shut, but like he's a quiet, quiet kid. And he just does what he does and I'm happy for him. You know, like he runs hard and that's all that I can ask for as a lineman. You know, just get your shoulder pads north and uh, hit the field running. Joe Brady said today that they built the running back room with guys who were versatile that 
opponents wouldn't know whether it's run or pass. For sure. Not a designated pass block or a scat back. Mm -hmm. How much does that help you guys up front? It helps us tremendously because when you have a running back that's in the game and, every, and everyone knows, like, all right, this is your huge back. Like, uh, this is our Derrick Henry. Like, the linebackers play in a different way. The D-line plays in a different way. And the safeties play in a different way. Like, the safeties might step up. The linebackers might step up. And the D-linemen might play just a, a little bit more physical for the run. And now that we have a group of guys that it could be this or that or this or that, you know, it – you know, it, it just takes a little percentage off of the initial set hut. But besides that, it, it, ball is ball. Ball is ball. You guys have worked on this offense all offseason from April on to training camp on the preseason. What this Joe Brady offense is going to be, why are you looking forward to unveiling it to everybody and, and unveiling it in a game that matters on Sunday? I don't even think about it as that. Like, we're not trying to prove anything to the world. Like, I'm not walking out there like, let's prove like to the world that we're the best in the world. No, nah, I, like, I just want to go out there and, and for us to prove to each other that we're on the course that we say that we're on the course. Let's go out there and be us. Like, we don't have to prove to nobody but ourselves because when it comes down to it, the only like people that matter is in these walls. Not to say that, no, in disrespect to anybody that's not in these walls, but but we don't care. Like we love the mafia, we love the people that talk crap and the people that talk good. That's all a part of it. But when it comes down to it, if my quarterback is upright, my quarterback is walking around here with no bruises and he's happy, and we're going into every game with with our confidence and us just being us, I'm cool. And uh, we're human. Like I don't I don't overthink it, and. Because of me, I make sure that everybody around me tries to think that, that same way. Don't overthink it. We don't have to prove nothing. Ain't nobody winning the Super Bowl tomorrow or Sunday or Thursday or Monday night. It's not happening. You're not winning the Super Bowl tomorrow or whenever the, that game is. Like, you know, it's a long season. And, you know, just hit the field and get your kinks out and, and, it, and it's go time. You know, like it's it's the real deal now. So wins and losses. How long does it usually take to get up to full speed? You know, I understand that like you guys don't have a lot of reps together, and there's a reason behind that. Mm -hmm. Is there like a tangible like okay, like after this many games, we usually feel like we're kind of cooking at the right pace. Is there like an amount of time it takes? That's a great question, but I think overall, there's no real true answer because every team is different. Like I could say, in previous years, like when we had a couple of of players, we can get into our room, well, and into our uh, flow a little bit easier and quicker. But I think truly, we'll like we'll be getting in our groove the whole season, because every week I'm I'm planning on like getting better. So every week we'll get into a better groove. So I think that this week we're in a great groove. Next week we'll be in a great tur groove, and it's just gonna keep getting another ER to the end of that greater. So I think that we're just going just gonna to keep going and, and see how it flows. But I wish that there was a real answer, but there isn't.